What's going on YouTube? Got a little update here for the hot tub aquaponic jungle. Gigantic. Everything's looking awesome. Look how high those freaking tomatoes are. Looking great. Um, I guess right off the bat, I should start with... Let's look all over these. Well, here's my uh, fail with all my dead uh, ladybugs. Still waiting on a replacement order, but in the meantime, white flies everywhere. I can leave in the greenhouse door open so that I can uh, go ahead and uh, get some kind of beneficial uh, insects in here. But, so that's happening. But anyway, got this new strawberry here, Loran, Lauren, whatever. Um, not looking so good, but new green growth so we must be doing something right uh back here garlic looking half decent not too bad in the back here gotta move all these strawberries out of the way you can see carrots all kind of carrots getting ready to be pulled here uh shortly look at that man gigantic freaking growth on that one got a whole bunch of peppers here I don't even remember where they are. Anyway, uh, let's see. I guess this is uh, jalapeno, both of them. Uh, looking half decent here. Right behind it is my mucho nacho, which is a uh, uh, jalapeno, not a habanero, a jalapeno, which you can see I've got my second fruit going on that one. Right behind that is my Cajun bell. Look at this guy. Nice little pretty orange... Uh, uh, well, orangish, reddish kind of uh, pepper popping off there. A couple more right there. And way more uh, pods popping off. It's great. Uh, it's probably one of the best pepper seasons I've ever had. Right over here, my Carmen. Look at this the guy right here. Looking beautiful. Got another one uh, right here. Or no, that's on a different plant. That would be my uh, cow horn. And look at that. Got a nice one here. Another one right over here. Looking beautiful. Um, let's see, my lettuce right here. Looking kind of crappy, but it's trying to bolt. So uh, it's reaching for the sky. You can see a little bit of flowerage right here. If it would focus. Come on, I'm taking up the whole screen. Still not focusing. Whatever. Um, it's flowering. And I've got another one right over here, looking half decent. My watermelon right beside it, trying to decide what it wants to do. Cantaloupe, hey, hey, hey. Hanging down, looking for uh, stuff to grab onto. Right over here, I've got my mammoth jalapeno, which is finally starting to flower. All right, can't wait for this guy to take off. And uh, right here, green bell. Looking beautiful, nice little green bell pepper right there. Another one starting, looking great, which means this is my jalapeno. Look at this thing. I am so proud of this thing. Got a little yellowing of the leaves there. Um, but, I mean, for crying out loud, no, well, there's a little curling of the leaves, but uh, it's looking pretty doggone good. Uh, right beside it, I believe this is another jalapeno here, looking beautiful, and right behind it, as you can see right there, another bell, green bell, uh, pepper forming right there, some more flowerage right there, and uh, right in the middle of all of that, you can see uh, uh, some dead flowers right there, new flower right there. This is my lunchbox orange, which is some kind of uh, sweet pepper uh, right here. Check this out. I got uh, Velcro strats, 18 feet by 2 inches wide, really wide. But I'm thinking about taking a razor knife and cutting them in half so I get 18 feet by 1 inch or less than 1 inch wide so I can use that for trellising. And uh, they were on sale 50% off. Um, they were 5 bucks a piece. Um, I guess that's after 50%. So 10 bucks, and I got uh, 36 feet. Not too bad, even if I keep it like it is. So, moving right along, we've got my Swiss chard. I've been cutting it back a little bit, uh, feeding it to my chickens and everything. 
Everybody's been loving it. Little tiny Swiss shard right below it there. Some runners over there with some pest poop. Need to take care of those guys. Uh, right up front here, as you can see, I've been whacking away at my kale plant here because, as you can see, holes all through it. We get these little goofy inchworm things. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and take out probably this leaf here. Uh, I don't see any inchworms on it, but uh, they gotta be around here somewhere. So, um, that's why I've been really hacking away at it. But, I give it to the chickens, and they get a double treat. They get some uh, kale, and they get some uh, insects. So, double win for them. Little tiny kale right behind it here, looking pretty good. Not too shabby. Uh, strawberries all over the place. Look, all kind of crazy uh, poop right there. And right in there and everything. That was pretty much from this giant kale over here. And same thing. I've been hacking away at it and uh, getting rid of all those pests. Little one right here in the front. Looking pretty freaking awesome. Um, yellow cherry tomato. Looking pretty good. Um, right behind it is the radicchio. And look at this thing. It's like popping right up. It's trying to flower. I keep cutting it back. But it's like a, a little mini tower looking thing. Like coming right out of the bunch there. Just going right up. But uh, let's see what else we got back here. My Shishimo. That's one of these right here. Which I believe is a, yep, sweet pepper. Got a little bushy looking uh, pepper here. Looking not too bad. Kind of overshadowed here by this giant freaking Swiss shard. I'll be taking that out right after I'm done with this video. Uh, more strawberries in the back there. Some more strawberries. Like I said, I haven't had time, so I'm sure they're fruiting and everything, and I haven't got anything out of them. Uh, another jalapeno here. Starting to flower. Looking pretty here and here. And it's kind of tall. Some more jalapenos right here in the back. And sweet peppers. Uh, sweet um, banana peppers back there. Looking pretty good. A couple runners running around there. And this tomato that needs to be put up on my brand new uh, steak here so that I can stake them on up. I'm gonna do that as soon as I'm done here. Oh, what else do I have over here? This little guy, it's my better boy. As you can see right here, looking pretty good. Starting to flower right behind him. Another dragon cayenne, all kind of dragon cayenne peppers all over it. The one right behind it. Still hanging around waiting to do some stuff. Like I said, my kale right here. Another steak right here. So I've got one, two right over there, and another one right over there, three. And I'm gonna just take like twine, or I'm thinking of like heavy duty rope, and just kind of like doing a uh, like a roundabout kind of thing and screwing the rope into the wood the whole way around. And that will be my trellis. Around and around and around and that'll be my trellis for at least uh, four feet and then I'll have to go ahead and figure out what to do after that but with construction coming I'm gonna have a couple main beams like right here and same place on the other side so we're gonna do a trellis design off of that um, right over here another jalapeno looking beautiful just got a little tiny pepper starting right here the very first one my uh, uh, sucker here, looking pretty good. My only uh, pak choy left in this garden, looking half decent. Uh, there's my freak hot peppers starting to take off, looking good. Uh, right over here, hey, 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 look at that sucker. That's pretty freaking tall, looking nice. Two indigo rows with the purple uh, stems. Looking awesome, starting to flower. Actually have uh, some fruit starting right there. Uh, my carrots here, they're all looking great. Here's my new uh, trellis uh, design part. Uh, all these carrots are looking good. You can see my little uh, kale over here. I had to whack them way back, as you can see. Had some pest damage. And this one right over here, not so much pest damage, but as you can see right over here, if it would focus, there we go. All those little black dots, those are pest damage poop. And uh, it's probably gone. 
I don't know. I'm really hoping to get my uh, Ladybug uh, replacement order really soon. Um, some more. Got some random leaves falling off right here because I haven't been able to go ahead and uh, you know trim everything up and uh, or give it attention. That's why I love aquaponics. It kind of does its thing on its own. My Barker's hot right here. Looking awesome. I think this is my biggest pepper yet. And look at it. Flower, flower, pepper pod, pepper pod, flower, all over this thing. Got a nice uh, pepper right over here. Uh, I don't want to like bust the freaking plant open. Come here, buddy. Anyway, nice little pepper right there. Not looking so bad, but this is one of my biggest peppers I have. Uh, my Roma tomato needs to be uh, staked up on this thing here, which is the whole reason why I started this, because this one in particular is one that needs to be staked up. It's got all the weight of these gigantic freaking Romas over here, and so I want to hook it up with a little bit of uh, support. Got some more flowers forming right up in here, over there, up there. Uh, strawberries, uh, some of them are looking good, like this one looking crappy, got a little pest damage over here, but look at this, we've got freaking runners all over the place, um, I need to take care of them, the purple basil hanging out and over, it's just all over the place right now, habanero, hey, 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 look at that, three ripe fruit, be picking those right afterwards, uh, my little, I guess, watermelon? I'm not sure. It looks like a watermelon seed right here. If it would focus. Hello, focus man. Come on. It's in full view. All right, whatever. Uh, it's a seed, and it looks like a watermelon seed. Here is the guy right here. Hey, hey. Now it's spread open. Let's do some growing, buddy. Um, right next to it, my jalapeno, starting to put out, um, or trying to put out some uh, flowers there. Right next to it, my poblano, looking nice. Um, looks like a little bit of uh, pest damage up here. Nope, nope, looks like a little bit of garbage. But uh, waiting for this to actually do something. It's really nice and tall. Got a couple little pepper nodes, like right there and right here. But, waiting for it to do something else, and then I've got my uh, green bell right here, looking beautiful. Nice little green bell popping off there, and my red bell right next to it, waiting to do something. That's my purple basil hanging over the whole place, and lemon balm right beside it. Uh, another jalapeno right over here, looking half decent. Uh, another one right over here, half decent. And another one right back here, looking pretty good. My volunteers, this guy. Jeez, oh man, look at the size of this guy. I'm going to step up on the ladder here. Look at this thing, man. It's gigantic. They were four feet as of, um, what, four days ago, I guess. So now they were about uh, five feet. And we got flowers. That's the indigo rose right there. The volunteer right here. Some more flowers all over the place. Everything is looking awesome. And as you can tell, indigo rose with the purple uh, stem. And it is extending way over there. But like I said, we're going to add a uh, little bit of stuff. And there's going to be a main beam like right here. So that's going to be incorporated as well as this uh, one right over here. It's just kind of holding up the, uh, the whole design a little bit. That's what I was using to uh, go up on the roof when uh, the old roof was there and I needed to repair it. But uh, I'll probably incorporate that kind of thing right into it so I can do a trellis design. My Malabar starts way down here and then starts taking off. Look, we've got the little uh, pods here all over the place, the little berry type things starting to form. Looking neat, but it uh, goes all the way up, all the way up to the top of this uh, flagpole. Coming on up, hit the rope, and all the way up and over the ceiling, and bam, it's starting to go across the ceiling. So, it's nice and tall. Um, oh, my onion right here, looking half decent. And my water level, as you can see, it is shy of the shelf there. So I need more water again. 
which in the reservoir here, I've been trying to go ahead and uh, get a little bit more water into the whole uh, system. Here's a back shot of all the tomatoes. If it would focus, it doesn't seem to want to. There we go. Um, but there's a back shot of all the tomatoes. Looking beautiful. It's like a wall of tomatoes right here. Um, there's some more of the purple basil, the water, and we've still got strawberries popping off here. Goofy looking ones. I, I've been kind of snobbish on all of my strawberries. Here's a couple more. These are totally overdone. Um, and I'm snobbish, so I just feed them to the chickens. Um, right over here, here's a half decent one right here. I'll probably, I will eat that one right now. <laughs> Man, man, that was good. Really freaking good. Really juicy. Here's another one of those goofy looking ones. That's a chicken tomato or uh, strawberry right there. Throw it right there. Made it all the way around here. Um, as you can see, runners hanging off of everybody. I really have been neglecting this garden. I need to get back into the swing of things, but I've been working so much lately that I just really don't have the time, um, but I need to make some time. Hey, look at that. Got a little frog hopping right on my arm. What a cute little guy. And I'm just trying to show these strawberries up here, and he's hanging out. All right, these strawberries are really crappy looking, as you can see. They are going to be going to my chickens. Sorry, little frog, you gotta go somewhere here, buddy. Here, come on. Hey! Oh man, nice jump. Can you see him on there? Nice. That was a great catch. <laughs> He's hanging onto the runners, which are right there next to the carrot. Anyway, all right, this is a long video. Um, so that's what I got going on this week. Um, I also have right over here, I got my little tub here. Bam! I've got a couple of uh, JT Bears, Bolivian, what are they called, man? I still can't get the name right. They're Bolivian um, Rainbow uh, Freak Hot Peppers. Um, but anyway, I got uh, two right here in this one. Got another one popping up right over here. And I believe that I planted six, or yeah, 16, four in each. So I should be getting some more here, but we already got three up, which is pretty good. Um, and then right over here, <laughs> these I've got six Carolina Reapers planted so hopefully I can uh, get these guys to come on up and I'm testing them because if they come on up I'm gonna do a seed giveaway and I've got a couple extra Carolina Reapers I'm gonna go ahead and give away as well as some random peppers and uh, some other things that I've got hanging around here so, make sure you stay tuned. Don't forget to favorite, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You don't have to for this video to get into the giveaway, but the giveaway will be coming soon because I just hit 300 subscribers. Thank you all so much. That is awesome. I never thought that I would be able to hit 300. Uh, I thought 100 was crazy whenever I hit it, and all of a sudden I'm at 300. So thank you all very much, and thank you for liking my videos, and I uh, hope I'm inspiring somebody to go ahead and make their own kind of garden, because that's what I did. I watched a video and thought, I can do that, and I did, and next thing you know, this is what I've got going on. I mean, for crying out loud, people, I've got two different gardens, a greenhouse, everything, all because I thought, I can do that, and then I went and did it. So. If anybody's out there thinking, I could probably do that, or I want to do that, you can. It's that easy. You just do it. You know, you win, you fail, whatever. That's what I do. I, <laughs> I kill fish, I kill plants, and sometimes I get awesome gigantic tomatoes and peppers and all this stuff. So, it's kind of a crapshoot, but... Uh, the only thing, the difference between me and you, you saying you want to do it and me doing it, is I just went ahead and did it. So, get your hands dirty. Get into it. Do it, man. Doesn't take very much, and the rewards are amazing. So, 
I will catch y'all next time, and very shortly I'll be getting my seed giveaway together. So don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, all that fun, happy stuff that I said earlier. And I will catch y'all next time, and soon I will have all of my ducks in a row, and I'll show you what I'm giving away. So, till then, later YouTube people. Love y'all.